So hello everyone in this video we will be understanding about events in JavaScript. So basically events are those actions which are performed when we click on something or when we hover over something or something like that. We have different categories of events. We will be understanding them one by one. So first of all what is an event? An event is something that happens when user interact with the web page. Uh, such as when he clicked a link or a button, entered a text into an input box or a text area, made selection in a select box, pressed key on the keyboard, moved the mouse pointer, submits a form, etc. So all these actions or all these actions or interactions which are performed by the user are called events. In some cases, the browser itself can trigger the events such as the page load and unload events so without any user interaction also page can also or a browser can also uh, trigger these events or trigger some of the events like page load or unload events that will be understanding event handling so what is event handling when an event occur you can use a javascript event handler or an event listener to detect them and perform specific task or set of tasks by convention the names for event handlers always begin with the word on so it can be on click on change or anything so an event handler for the click event is called on click similarly an event handler for the load event is called on load event handler for the blur event is called on blur and so on so in the previous videos also uh, we did one on click uh, event handling so in that we assigned a function and then we executed that so we can also execute alert functions as well so we'll be doing that practically don't worry adding event handlers so adding event handlers is very simple you can see that this is the code example in which uh, we are using on click event in that we have used this alert function or alert method of javascript in which uh, hello world is written there in the string and if somebody clicks on this button then this alert function will be executed and we'll be seeing an alert in the browser so there are several ways to assign an event handler the simplest way is to add them directly to the start tag of the html elements using the special event handler attributes so basically we are we are using attributes uh, javascript attributes uh, by uh, by them we can use event handling and we can assign any function to that which will be executed when so that event occurs for example to assign a click handler for a button element we can use on click attribute like this we have shown here the code example so we can also uh, we can also describe the function or a separate function in the script tag as well like you can see in this example we have given this button an id which is my button and in the script tag we have created this function say hello and inside that we are actually writing this uh, alert method which is just printing out hello world in an alert and after that we just wrote one uh, example here one statement which is document dot get element by id you know that what it, it is for in this we specified the id of the button which was my button and then we specified dot on click method so instead of uh, describing attribute inside the button tag we just use this method on this element my button so we just use on click event here and we assign the function here which was say hello so if somebody clicks on this button which is having this id my button then this alert will be executed so basically this is another way of adding event handlers so this was the easiest one and this was a little bit complex so you can use that if you want to use them so there are many ways to add event handlers so two we saw here so what are types of events so generally we can categorize them in four main groups mouse events are there which are performed by mouse keyboard events are there 
then we have form events and then we have document or window events so let's understand them one by one so mouse events uh, a mouse event is triggered when the user click some element move the mouse pointer over an element etc or this you can think of this as when we click on anywhere or we hover over the elements at that time these element these events occurs actually so basically these events are dependent on the mouse interaction here's are some uh, most important mouse events and their event handler so you can see one in the button tag it is there on click and in the alert method we have written you have clicked a button and in the another a tag also we are doing the same thing so on click method is one more uh, one more event we can use in here so this is one mouse event the other mouse event we have is context menu uh, we can write it as on context menu and the on context menu event occurs when a user clicks the right mouse button so we have two mouse buttons uh, and one scroll in between if we uh, think of as a mouse when we click right when we click right mouse button then at that time this event occurs so we can execute any function when somebody or the user clicks a right in the mouse an element to open a context menu you can handle context menu event with an with an on context event handler so you can see this is the thing when somebody right clicks then at that time we can use this event similarly we have mouse over which is kind of similar to hover property that we or hover pseudo class that we use in css it is something similar to that so when somebody uh, points to uh, some text or some button with the mouse at that time this event occurs so the mouse over event occurs when a user moves the mouse pointer over an element so uh, you can handle the mouse over event with the on mouse over event and you can execute any function you want when somebody hovers mouse to any text or any image or whatever element we are specifying on this on mouse over then we have on mouse out this event occurs when somebody leaves the place or leaves the element or moves uh, outside of the element at that time this event occurs so you can handle the mouse out event with this mouse on mouse out event handler similarly we can execute any function when somebody uh, move outside of an element then we have keyboard events uh, these events occur when somebody clicks on keyboards and presses any keyboard key so on that we can execute then we have the first uh, one is the on key down the on key down event occurs when the user presses down a key on the keyboard so it will execute uh, this event when somebody clicks on any key in the keyboard you can handle the key down event with the on key down event handler you can see that this is the code example i have given here on key down and it is kind of similar to the other events as well instead just we are changing the event name and everything is similar to that we are just passing the function or a method that we are that we want to execute on the, that particular event then we also have a key up event or on key up event this occurs when user releases a key on the keyboard so this was when somebody uh, clicks presses uh, or presses down a key and this one was for for when the user leaves the mouse or sorry the leaves the keyboard at that time it will execute so this handles on key up when somebody uh, releases the mouse or keyboard key sorry at that time this event will occur so it is kind of similar to the other one and we can use it uh, just like the previous met, uh, events then we have on key press uh, the key press event occurs when a user presses down a key on the keyboard that has a character value associated with it for example keys like control shift alt escape uh, arrow keys etc will not generate a key press event but will generate a key down and key up event so in key down and key up we can use all these uh, keys uh, the control shift alt escape arrow 
these will be executing this key down and key up event but it will not execute this key press event so this key press event actually occurs when somebody clicks on any character associated key just like alphabetical keys or numerical keys when somebody clicks on that particular key at that time this event occurs but if somebody clicks on control shift alt all these buttons or all these keys then no event occurs no on key press event occurs but instead we can execute these key down and key up event if we want so it is for that only so you can see it is just like the previous uh, events executed with this alert method then we have form events a form event is fired or when a form control receive or loses focus or when the user modify a form control value such as by typing text in the text field select any option in a select box here's are some most important events you can see the first one is on focus the on focus event occurs when the user gives focus to an element on a web page you can handle the focus event with the on focus event handler so in this you can see that uh, in this input type in this input type we have written this event on focus and we have executed this highlight input method or this function basically so, and we are passing the element the complete input element in this you can see that highlight input and then element style dot background we are changing the background color of that particular input when somebody focus on that or clicks on that we'll do we'll be doing all of all these events practically so don't worry we are just grabbing the idea first uh, by this theory chapter so when somebody clicks on that particular input field at that time this event will be occurred and we can execute this function here or any function you want then we have a blur event the blur event occurs when the user takes the focus away from a form element or a window for example if you clicked on an input and you uh, for example uh, click outside at that time this event occurs so this is called on blur event you can handle the blur event with this on blur uh, event handler you can see that and similarly we are using the alert method here so to test we can also use our custom function here if you want we also have on change uh, event handlers on change event handler works when somebody changes the value inside the input field for example if somebody changes the select option or if somebody writes something in input field writes some text at that time this on change handler executes because this will only occur when the input field value is changed so in this case the select or uh, is changed then at that time this alert will be executed we can also use this in a normal input field as well uh, instead of using this in a select box we can also use that in an input text also or in a text area as well then comes this submit event which is on submit which is executed by this on submit handler this executes or this occurs when somebody submits a form with this input type submit button if you click on this uh, submit button then at that time this submit function will be executed and then we can uh, use any method or any function to uh, like for sh showing an alert or for showing a submission successful submission uh, message or something like that so this is basically occurs when somebody submits a form then we have some document or window events uh, events are also triggered in situations when the page has loaded or when user resize the browser window etc so you can see the first uh, window or document event is this one on load the load event occurs when a page has finished loading in the web browser basically when uh, your page is completely uh, rendered at that time this uh, method executes or this event executes you can handle the load event with the on load event handler you can see it is executing everything in this body and inside that it is using on load window dot alert page is loaded successfully so it is actually showing this alert here you can also use some methods if you want just like the previous ones 
previous events. This will occur or this will happen when the browser is successfully loaded the page or successfully our HTML page is loaded in the browser. So this will occur on that time. Then we have on unload. The unload event occurs when a user leaves the current web page. You can handle the unload event with the unload on unload event handler. So this is this happens when somebody uh, uh, closes the tab or for example leaves the page at that time this event occurs so uh, you can uh, ask and you can give an alert that are you sure you want to leave this page or this kind of alert you can execute at uh, on unload which means when somebody closes the tab or when somebody uh, is leaving the page so at that time you can execute this kind of events then we have on resize event this occurs when somebody resizes the window at that time we can execute any method or any function you can see that in this case it has actually uh, created uh, this p tag inside that there is id result and in the script tag we are actually uh, creating this method which is uh, creating this function basically display window size and inside that we are getting the width of the current window by using window dot out of it and we are also getting the height by using this window object window is a global object so we can access it and we can access the outer height or the browsers or windows height as well then we are creating a text inside that we are customizing the w and the h value and us concatenating uh, the width and the height with this text and then we are showing that on this p tag in this p tag so we are actually using in our html and we are specifying the text whatever we have written or whatever we have actually created here and we can use uh, this on resize event like this window dot on resize equals then we can assign this display window size so you, so you can see we are using this on window not on body instead we are using it on window so because we want uh, the size when somebody resizes the window so not not the body but the window so you have to remember this so on resize event occurs when somebody resizes the window and we can execute any function for example in this case it is just showing the width and the height of the current window so it will automatically change when we uh, for example change the width or the height so it will execute this function so we'll be doing all these things practically don't worry i'm just giving you some overview about all these events that exist so this is the end of the slide thank you for watching i hope you got something thank you and let's meet in the another one